that's an entrance. <laughs> Andrew and Lindsay, the day is here. I want you to turn around for a moment. I want you to see God's blessings in your life. So turn around and face everyone, your family and friends. Lindsay and Andrew, they're here because they love you. And on behalf of Lindsay and Andrew, I want to welcome everyone here to Our Lady of the Assumption. It's a celebration of God's love, and we are so glad that each and every one of you are here to celebrate and to witness the great sacrament of marriage between Lindsay and Andrew. So welcome. You guys can turn around. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Friends, may the grace, the peace, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Take a moment in the silence of your hearts as we ask for God's love and His mercy on this very sacred and special day for Lindsay and Andrew, for all of us. Lord, you call us to love one another as you love us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you call us to walk in peace and in love. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. You guys join hands. Heavenly Father, on this beautiful day, we ask you to hear our prayers for Lindsay and Andrew, who today are united in the beautiful sacrament of marriage before your holy altar. Give them your richest blessing. Strengthen their love for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Friends, I invite you to uh, be seated. Wedding party, you can return to your seats. This time I invite Catherine and Teresa to come forward for our sacred readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle all the birds of the air, and all wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. And when he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. And that is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you, blessed are those who seek you, O God. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you, 
blessed are those who seek you, O God. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in God's pathways. You will find what you long for, the riches of our God. Blessed are those are those who seek you, O God. Your spouse shall be like a fruitful vine in the midst of your home. Your children flourish like olive plants, rejoicing at your table. Blessed are those who love you. Happy those who follow you, blessed are those who seek you, O God. May the blessings of God be yours all the days of your life. May the peace and the love of God live always in A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And I have, if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all mysteries and knowledge. If I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord.
friends, the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Why don't you be seated? I promise it won't take more than an hour. No, I'm just kidding. Lindsay and Andrew, sincerely speaking, just from the heart, it is a tremendous honor and a privilege to be here and to officiate at your wedding. One of my biggest responsibilities, I think, as a priest is to pray for his people. And Andrew and Lindsay, as you know, I was praying for this day. And I prayed the week before. And I will never forget, Lindsay walks in the back of the church with a smile from ear to ear and her hand up and said, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. And as a priest, it brought tremendous joy. So much joy, I even used it in the homily the next day. Lindsay and Andrew, God's greatest gift, the gift of life. And in that life, the greatest gift that we all search for is the gift of love. Lindsay and Andrew, it is evident to everyone here the hand of God has brought you together. And as St. Augustine said, our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. I think he is saying that as human beings, we are restless. We search. We search throughout our whole life for purpose and for meaning. We search for God's grace. Andrew and Lindsay, today, moment of grace. It'll be on film, and it'll be all captured for all time. But it's your words and your heart that you are giving to one another. Moments of grace. Moments where we know in our very soul, the longing of our soul, God is speaking to us. Catherine and Victor and Elizabeth and Ed, today. I think it was a while when you looked into Lindsay's eyes the moment she was born. And you looked and you saw the miracle of God's grace in Andrew. And here you are today, seeing your beautiful daughter, your wonderful son, joined together and taking with them the great gifts of faith and in love that you have given to both of them. Lindsay and Andrew, you are setting out on this amazing journey, this story called life. And I learned a lot from couples and from you both of you, you have a capacity to love. You have a capacity to give to others. You have a capacity to come together to share your gifts and your talents with others. The very essence of our readings. Lindsay and Andrew, if you remember that always through your life, to have this capacity to love one another, to share those gifts with others, and to be open to the miracles of life. I think it was Albert Einstein. Somebody said there's two ways to go through life. To see as if nothing is a miracle, or to live our life to see as everything is a miracle. As you go through life, Lindsay and Andrew, you will experience moments of grace, moments of God's presence, that longing in the soul. And the two of you, you have such a great gift that in the storms of our lives or in the challenges of our lives, that you have a steady course, a beautiful steady course that will be able to see through all of life's challenges and blessings that you will persevere together. Our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. Andrew and Lindsay, you have found the gift of God's love for one another. So on behalf of everyone here, may God bless you as you continue this amazing journey together. I invite you now to stand. 
I invite the wedding party to come forward. You guys step back just a bit and turn and face one another. Lindsay and Andrew, you've come here on this beautiful day in this church. The Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of this church's community, your family and friends. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has consecrated you both in baptism. He now enriches and strengthens you by a very special sacrament that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the church, Lindsay and Andrew, I ask you to state your intention. Lindsay and Andrew, have you come here freely? without any reservation, to give yourselves to one another in marriage? Yes. We have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? I will. I will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. We will. Lindsay and Andrew, since it is your intention to enter into marriage, you have joined your hands together, your hearts, and before everyone, joining your souls together. I, Andrew Edward, take you, Lindsay K. Take you, Lindsay K. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Lindsay K. Take you, Andrew Edward. Take you, Andrew Edward. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Lindsay and Andrew, you have declared your consent before God and his church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has obviously joined together today, let no one divide. The rings. Come here, follow me. Victor and Catherine and Elizabeth and Edward, please come forward. As parents, I invite you, the wonderful job of raising your daughter and your son to bless the rings that they will wear as they begin their wedding day. So extend your hand a blessing. Loving and gracious God, it is in love that we gather here. And we ask your Holy Spirit to bless these rings that Andrew and Lindsay will wear as a reminder of fidelity and love. We give you thanks for their wonderful family, and we bless these rings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Lindsay, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Come on, you can do it. There you go, perfect fit. <laughs> there you go. Look at Andrew. Andrew, take this ring. 
as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Andrew, let me kiss your beautiful wife. Turn around and face everyone, and let's give them a great round of applause, everyone. Father, on this beautiful day, we open our hearts and we lift our prayers to you. The response Go ahead. is, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of church and state, for heads of institutions, for heads of homes and households, that they will lead us and guide us in the search for God and the good life, in the search for peace and joy, in the search for love among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all married people, for those who married yesterday, for the new couple, Andrew and Lindsay, married today, for those who will marry tomorrow, that they may savor the joy of being together, warm love and children, a long life, wine and friends, and a new day every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all young single people who look forward to a vocation full of life and full of love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the lonely old and the lonely young, for the hungry rich and the hungry poor, for the sick in body, mind, and spirit, for the weakness in all of us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our relatives and friends who walk with us on life's journey, and for those who have gone before us to the other side of life, for the fulfillment of all their unfulfilled desires, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Just take a moment in the silence of your own hearts as on this beautiful day we pray for Lindsay and Andrew. For this prayer we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we place these prayers before you an act of love and faith. And we pray this and we ask all of this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends, I invite you all to be seated. Wedding party can return to their seats. You guys move the chairs together.
Anthony and Linda will bring forward the gifts of bread and wine. stand together and we pray. Pray that the sacrifice on our holy altar may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, accept our offering for this newly married couple, Lindsay and Andrew. By your love and providence, you have brought them together this day. Now bless them all the days of their married life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks. You created us in love to share your divine life. And we see this high destiny in the love of husband and wife, which bears the imprint of your own divine love. Love is our origin and love is our constant calling. Love is our fulfillment in heaven. The love of man and woman is made holy in the beautiful sacrament of marriage. It becomes the mirror of your everlasting love. So through Christ, with all the choirs of angels and the saints, we praise and glorify your name. time I invite you to kneel or be seated whatever your faith at this time and we are all united all of us together in our witness of the love between Lindsay and Andrew and the love that Christ has for each and every one of us you are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall 
so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples and he said to them, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, he gave you thanks and praise. He handed it to his disciples, and he said to them, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, Jose Gomez, our Bishop, clergy, religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. My friends, it is through him with him and in him, in unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. sign of unity invite us to maybe even join our hands together our hearts as one family here on this beautiful day as we pray the words Jesus taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and you say to us on this beautiful day, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. With love in your hearts, turn to each other, give each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God who unconditionally loves us, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to say the word. During this time of Holy Communion, if maybe you're of a different faith or for whatever reason here today, unable to receive Holy Communion, Our Lady of the Assumption is a place that welcomes everyone. So we invite you to come forward for a blessing. Just cross your hands over your heart. Communion or a blessing, please know we are one family and we welcome you all. If I can have a Eucharistic minister, that'd be great.
forward with the bouquet. Andrew and Lindsay will take these flowers to our statue of our Blessed Mother.
Let us pray. Lord, in your great love, you have given us this Eucharist to unite us with one another and with you. As you have made Lindsay and Andrew one in the beautiful sacrament of marriage and sharing in the one bread and the one cup, so you make them one in love for each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lindsay and Andrew, I invite you to turn around and face everyone. All of you, all of our family and friends, with love in your hearts, with a smile on your face, extend your hand of blessing for all of us together in this nuptial blessing. Heavenly Father, you've made us in your image and likeness. You are the source of blessing for married life. On this day, we pray to you for Lindsay, who was united, is united with her husband Andrew in marriage. May your fullest blessings come upon her and Andrew, that together they may rejoice in your gift of married love. Enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy, turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their time of need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses of love in this world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends, come at last to the kingdom of heaven. Lindsay and Andrew, we bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can give her another kiss there. There you go. Turn around and face everybody. My friends, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and those you love in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's an honor and a privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Wirtz.